Doing some furnace based activities up here on Mount Karulm. 77 crafting allows us to make red dragon hide armor. So, down in the Forthos dungeon, you can kill the red dragons, sacrifice their bones for prayer XP, pay the tanner to tan the hides, craft the dragon hide bodies, and then alk them for a fantastic synergy of experience. So that's probably what we're going to do once we're out of other crafting materials to get that final push to level 80. But not right now. Not right now. That's all the skilling I needed to get done up here on the mountain. We got 65 mining and then 69 smithing from using pretty much all my ores making steel and mithril bars. Also made gold bars, silver bars, used up all my gems that I had, made amulets out of all those. Not going to string the amulets, but anyways, we got our mine level up high enough that when we go over to here, we can use this anvil to smith plate bodies with all of our mithril and steel and iron bars. Apparently this is actually a decent place to smith because there's a bank down in the blast mine which is easy to get to and you don't have to climb up and down a whole bunch of stairs. So we're going to be getting a bit of smithing experience and more things we can make some money from. So let's see what smithing level we end up with. All that smithing of all the bars that I have got us up to level 79. So we're just shy of the level 80 milestone for more league points. But now Along there, well, very, very towards the beginning, to be honest, we got level 70 smithing, which is going to allow us to do something. On my way to my destination, I decided I really should mine one of these red rocks. Look how red that is. That's great. Back at the Forsaken Tower once more to do another task. This time, it's a diary task. But doing all the diary tasks is a league task, so just two more things we need to do. For the penultimate task, I need to kill a zombie down here in the Shazian Crypts. I don't have a light source. Okay, let me go find a light source. Lit candle to the rescue. All right, now let's go find a zombie. Those look like zombies. That looks like a mage. An incredibly powerful mage. All right, what do we got here? We got a ranger attacking me. Oh, no, keep attacking this one. Hey, 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 look at that. Chaos runes and getting out of this chaos. Now just one more thing we need to do. On my way to the final location, I decided to stop back over here and get another Slayer task. This time, we're going to get red dragons. My intention is to train attack and prayer, killing 
a whole bunch of baby red dragons. I would do something against the adult red dragons. But that's not quite as AFK. I mean, it's not AFK, but sometimes when you say AFK, what you really mean is not having to try very hard. That's what I mean this time. For our final task, we need to kill a Lizardman Shaman down here in the Lizardman Temple. Not much to say. One last group of these little exploding dudes. Well, hopefully one last group. Technically, I don't know what I'm really doing here. What I do know is I got some more Lizardman things. So I'm not going to complain about that. And that I aggroed this guy. So it would only be proper for me to kill this one too. Anyways, once we're done here, we're heading back to the center of Karend to get myself the hard diary rewards. I've completed all the hard tasks. So for this upgrading, you now I get 6% chance of two fish, unlimited teleports to the woodlands, and three daily teleports to Mount Karul which would be pretty nice for all these red dragons we're about to go kill. We can use a full, we can use a Slayer Helmet with the Shazen Helm, which we can't get. 5% increase in yield from the Hosidious far and Farming Guild Herb Patches. Neat. 40 free diamond a day. And the Hide Tanning is now slightly cheaper. Also, we get this fancy XP which we're going to be putting into crafting. For 300,000 XP. Which gets us to level 79 and 155,000 XP to go. So both crafting and smithing are very close to level 80. There we get 100 league points. Very nice. First Red Dragon's task of this whole concept we're working on. First, Grubby Key. Dark Tips. Oh boy. I got a feeling this is going to be a lot of Grubby Keys and potentially might even get myself some Brimstone Keys. But anyways, can't really complain because we also got 10 Grubby Chests for 50 League Points. Neat. Another Slayer task complete. This time, it's the 40th. We get some bonus Slayer points. Unsurprisingly, got another Grubby Key. And we get a Crystal Key. That's a much less useful key. Liter literally, is this worth anything for Alking? That's the real question. 90. So... No, not at all. I've got an interesting collection of items in my inventory, including those adamant nails that you might have noticed back when I was finishing my smithing. So we're gonna talk to this guy, make some red dragon leather, make these into a magic shield, which we didn't already have. We had a U one and a redwood one neither of which we're going to be using going forwards. Let me just pop this all together. Bam. Red Dragonhide Shield. I don't and will never have the smithing level to make the rune nails required for the black Dragonhide Shield. Also, Red Dragonhide is much easier to get because there's it's a reward from the chest over in the dungeon. And also the red dragons are just regular ones, not brutal. Anyways, red dragon hide shield gives 
six range attack, and some moderate defenses. So this will go very nicely with my rune crossbow. Also, it just looks so fancy. Hey look, a grubby key. Convenient. We are mixing it up a little bit over here at the Red Dragons. Brought out a mage setup and killing the adult dragons. So we get 2,160 prayer XP for that, which is pretty ridiculous. I just bust over to this guy, get us some red dragon hide tanned, make the body, and then alk it. So we just need a little bit more crafting XP. So it's going to be another task. We also brought the Tome of Fire, which we use when we're in safe spots, so we don't get destroyed by dragon fire. But with that, Fire Wave hits like an absolute truck. Can hit up to 30. Compar compared to any other damage I've done so far in the Twisted League. That's just absolutely ridiculous. But it is limited. I think I've used half of my charges on this task. So, it should be enough to get me to level 80 crafting. But after that, we're pretty much going to be out of charges. I do have another page sitting in the bank, in case I want to charge this up for alking or something. Not that I really need extra fire runes. But anyways, we got a grubby key and a brimstone key from this slayer task. Let's see if we get something good. Astral runes, literally useless. Can't, can't even access that spell book. Let's go open this brimstone key. The Rado's Blessing 3 is already coming in very clutch. Because we're on the normal spellbook, we don't have access to that teleport that gets us close to here. So, the other options would be terrible. But we can come here three times. And that's going to be enough to get us past this being on the regular spellbook phase. Because we should be getting... 80 crafting on this next Red Dragon's task. Speaking of Red Dragon's task, I clicked it. 75. We're also here for the Brimstone Key. Torstal Seeds. Okay. Not what I was looking for. But really we're getting to a point where I don't really know what I'm looking for. Like, anything I get from there is for, like, skilling supplies. I'm getting close to... Well, I haven't actually added everything up, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty close to having enough money for the things I want to do. So I don't really know what I want as a reward from the Brimstone Chest. I guess the Dusk Mystic or a Dragon Host, I guess. Aside from that, kind of pointless at this point. But I'm going to keep opening them, because it's fun. It's like loot boxes, except not insanely predatory. Good times. And with this dragon hide body of the red variety, there is level 80 crafting. We can make ourselves a glory, but we already got one from a clue scroll. Because we're fancy like that. And we get 100 league points. So we still got more dragons to kill, but I'm going back to... Train and melee. Along this way, we got to level 84 magic. So we still need our magic potion potions to boost to do the abyssal demon heads. But we didn't get any dragon heads, so we need, don't need to worry about getting a higher magic level for that or anything. Also, 97 hit points, 88 slayer. Getting very close to 2,000 total level. Another task, another duo of keys. One grubby. For dragon dart tips. And one brimstone. For more torstal seeds. And 
back we go. Time to find out if I have enough money for the next thing I want to do. But currently, that money is in things, and the things are in pieces of paper. So I'm going to cast magic at these pieces of paper that I drew pictures on, which are equivalent to the same thing for some reason. I don't question it. It just works. Didn't even need to bother alking any of my smithed or crafted items. We got 2 million coins in here, 1.6 million coins in here, for a total of 3,600,000 coins, which will be more than enough for what I'm looking to do now. We even have enough extra money that I can talk to the minecart operators and give them 100,000 coins so I never need to pay them again. Technically, that's not really worth doing. Especially since we're not going to be in the whole Twisted League for much longer. But that means I can save an inventory space and not have to bring coins to pay them every time I want to use a minecart. Which is going to be nice. And it's not like I have anything else I'm going to spend money on either. As you might have guessed from my inventory, we're buying fletching supplies. Namely, 55,000-ish broad arrowheads. I've got my arrow shafts, my feathers, my headless arrows, my arrowheads. So it's time to train thieving. Another bit of bonus league points for completing the task of stealing 100 artifacts. I believe the next one is at 250. So we'll see if we get that before we get to level 99. We just turn in this artifact. We get 93 thieving and 2,000 total level for 250 more league points. If you would have told me at the start that we get to 2,000 total level, I don't think I would have believed you. But we've been putting in the work to get all these levels up nice and high. Except for runecrafting and hunter. But maybe we'll get there later. Anyways, we've still got more thieving and fletching to do. There's level 98 woodcutting. But I'm going to be saving this final level of ultra AFK redwood chopping for later. So instead, I'm heading back to Red Dragons again. Wow, more grubby keys. Who could have seen this coming? Death runes, blood runes, bunch of food. Standard stuff. And there is level 90 attack down here in the baby cage. It's a process down here. We still have plenty of prayer experience that we need to gain. And hit points and attack. A lot of things. Just, just, just a lot of things. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep hitting these dragons with my curved sword. We literally don't have enough inventory space for all the loot we're about to get from these grubby keys. But that is the opposite of a problem. So let's see what we get. Death runes, snapdragons, and ranar weeds. We can drop, drop some stuff, combine the potions, Anyways, 19 times we've opened this chest now. 50 Slayer tasks complete. For 10 League points, wahoo. But the real reward here is 270 Slayer points. Now we have a whole bunch. So now, if we go into rewards, we can buy ourselves a rune pouch. So that'll be pretty useful. 
put in the teleports for the bow, put, put in the runes for the battlefront teleport, and then I just have to take this out of my bank whenever I want to teleport here. Not that I intend to teleport here very many more times, but it's something. And then to continue having the chance of getting brimstone keys for whatever they're going to be worth, we're going to keep getting tasks of red dragons. Level 80 prayer. We can now do nothing. We can get one more prayer point per, per potion dose, but whatever. What we're really here for was the 100 league points. So we're just going to go finish off this red dragon task. And I do have some grubby keys, but it's a secret how many there are. These will most likely be our final grubby keys, since we're done with crafting and prayer down here. Let's see what we get. Death runes. Just a little bit of money. And dart tips. The entire time I was down here killing red dragons, I was really hoping to get myself some more law runes. But we can't have nice things, apparently. Anyways, on to another skill for more league points. Thieving is so fast that I didn't even realize that I was 95 until I was practically level 96. So I just went and got 99. For 250 league points. And if I just pop these on here, 25 million flesh HP for another 250 league points. Now, I don't know exactly how many I've done, but we should be extremely close to 250 artifacts turned in. And that's another set of points that would be pretty easy to get. So I'm going to just keep on keeping on with the thieving until I get that number of artifacts. Hopefully I'm very close. That was very quick. I think li literally one, maybe two more, and we're done. Stealing 250 artifacts for 100 league points. As far as time investment to league point turn out, that was ridiculous. Very glad that I knew that this was a thing and decided to continue doing this. Very nice. Now, I'm gonna go do some other skilling activity. Went and purchased another 5,000 feathers from the fishing store. And also I'm going to buy some unfinished bolt packs here. Only like 5,000. Honestly, I don't know how many of these I'm even going to use. But it's better to have them than not have them. Because we're doing a drakes task. 56 drakes. Can do. But not right now. Right now, we're going to be chilling over here on this mountain for a little bit. We're done here. 75 mining. Not a league task. But it is a league task. Because if you come over here to the blast mine and collect yourself some runite ore, you get 250 more league points, which hilariously is more league points than you get for getting to level 80. Also, the whole blast mining thing, it's a lot more moving around and just barely better experience than just mining iron, and I don't need or will ever even be able to use these runite ores, so I probably just won't bother. The key to our next league task is right here in these drawers. Shazian supply crates. 
what we're going to be doing is mining Lovakite and coal, casting superheat, because the only the only other option is to run back and forth between this bank and furnace, which is further away than I'd like. Then we're going to turn these Lovakite bars into tier three armor, and then pack them up in here, give them to this guy. To do this, I need to fill four crates. And that means we need 44 Lovakite bars. So that means mining time. There is all of the Shazian supply armor made and packed and delivered to this guy. 144,000 smithing and a bit of mining XP. That gets us level 80 smithing for 100 more points. Next, level 80 mining. We dropped so many iron ores to get here. 10 times less than you regularly have to, but still. 100 league points. Now, there are a few other skilling goals that I could go for right now. I think we're going to mix it up a little bit.